In December 2015, the Jesuit Scholastics and Brothers Circle visited Leyte and engaged with communities affected by Typhoon Yolanda. The gathering was an opportunity to provide Scholastics a more grounded context and experience of disaster risk reduction and management for greater social preparedness and integration in the Asia-Pacific region. The Scholastics learned how people are recovering and actively participating in post-disaster reconstruction and rehabilitation. The JCAP DRRM protocol helps develop the framework for an effective and integrated post-disaster response. Protocol is learning how to act as one in the broader Jesuit network and to make decisions that connect us and coordinate our action so we are more coherent in the broader movement for action. Two years after Yolanda, the hardest hit areas in Eastern Visayas are still in the process of recovery. Homes still need to be rebuilt, basic services restored, livelihoods created and sustained. We can understand that war system, sir. First timer, so hindi namin, hindi pa namin ginakala ba? Two degree it means that it's storm surge. The the word storm surge was only mentioned in passing. They said there's a possibility. Of a storm surge. Typhoon Haiyan, there was a storm <coughs> surge. And uh, I think around 83% of the casualty died due to drowning. The Typhoon Yolanda has just blown, it just, the force is so strong that it just flattened. And I only have what? The, 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 the altar, the floor, the walls, even the posts, they're they're blown. Disaster occurs in the poorest places because there is generally a difficulty in adapting. We must be able to respond to one. We cannot be responding to separate institutions. Asia Pacific is among the regions most vulnerable to climate change, and in recent years, many countries have suffered the impact of natural hazards turned disasters. The participants in the Scholastics and Brothers Circle represent eight countries and Jesuit provinces in the Asia-Pacific region. What we try to achieve for the participants is the, is the first thing is that to get a better understand about disaster risk reductions and also um, Jesuit DR protocols. We are from a different uh, country, different context. We want to learn here in Tacloban from the Philippines. We talk, uh, we listen to the people are uh, sharing about their experience and also uh, we invite and then listen to many group uh, of non-governmental organization. This experience help us to, to understand, to go deeper and in order to also use a DRR in our own context. We come up with our own reflection every day uh, in line with the encyclical of uh, Pope in Laudato Si, help us to understand our the, the situation of uh, environment, what happened in the world today, and to put in our own formation at the G3. How do we learn to live in a world with poverty and disaster? In Laudato Si, Pope Francis invites us to see ourselves in relationship with other people and with the environment. Storm surge has been the greatest loss of life here in Leyte. However, it's not only storm surge that uh, is the hazard. In many of our river systems, there is a very different dynamic of the river flow once there are heavy rains and people get washed out. Communities living near river banks can be exposed to great danger. We have seen here where high cliffs have collapsed, where rivers have changed course and cut off a village, or thrown tons of stones down the main road, demolishing houses. We have to learn about these natural processes and how they operate under heavy rains so that we do not expose people to these 
problems, these hazards, and we do not rebuild back uh, where they are vulnerable. We learn here that the problem is deeper than disaster, and the recovery goes even deeper. Given the sustained social vulnerability of so many people in Asia-Pacific, we learned that faith is a primary source of healing, connecting the spirit of trust in God and the hope of the community. In seeing how hope works, we too gained hope and energy in wanting to take meaningful if we really want to take action in these cases and be part of the response, we have to develop a framework for action. This framework starts from the recognition of social vulnerability, of the need to address that vulnerability long term in terms of just jobs, basic social needs and housing materials and location. Then we're talking about exposure to the various types of hazards and then the actual event when the hazard occurs. All of these give us the risk and the poor run the highest risk. So for a framework of action, first we ask ourselves, what are the hazards we are trying to address? We might then ask, what organizations are we? How are we collaborating? What types of engagement or action do we have? And where is it we want to get to? What is it with the people we want to try to achieve? We look at the methods and the systems, the approaches we have for dealing with this. We look at how to assess the situation and most especially how do we coordinate at the different stages with people. And then we get to a point where we assess the work we're doing and are we getting closer to the goal? What are the lessons learned? And this happens over a time frame where we can do training and capacity during the time of mitigation and preparation when there is no threat around. Then as we approach the occasion of typhoons or if we know a volcano is going to blow, there's an alert and a coordination. The safety and mobilization during this phase and we get people out of harm's way. Once the disaster has occurred, hopefully with less loss of human life and resources, recovery begins and rehabilitation. Here also we have to study how better to build back so that we don't build back with the same problems. We also have to coordinate with others extensively, not just our own little activity. And this is where the protocol of the Jesuit Conference Asia Pacific helps us really pull together resources and activities and the broader collaboration so that we can be occasion for working with others and for others. And we can contribute oftentimes from our different vantage points, logistical support and operations that are not always possible in some of these areas. But most of all, that we work with others along the way. Jesuit scholastics are challenged to go deeper. They are called to greater solidarity with others, especially the poor and marginalized. This SBC has been a great opportunity for all of us. We learn disaster risk reduction, where we directly went to the community, listen to their stories and how they feel. And all these are giving us more experience and insight so that when we go back to our country, each one of us learning from their experience we also do in our uh, regions or the place we are where we are coming from how people work together uh, to manage the chaos the situation and also this i will bring home to teach 
also to help our people in East Timor to understand what that natural disaster is and how to prepare and also not only to people but to work with our government so that in order to help people to prepare better before the natural disaster or after after the natural disaster. We need to care for our common home. This world is not only one's, one's responsibility for everybody because this world has been threatened by a man-made disaster as well as natural disaster. Therefore, we are called to respond to this by working together, taking care of our environment. Through visiting sites to uh, different barangays, different places, I have learned how positive or how strong sense of gratitude is among the people. I'm quite confident that after learning from this, we have a big strength and courage to implement what we have learned and to care for our environment. Disasters will always be there. Hazards will always be there, but we can minimize the, the damages uh, brought to the land and the people. Collaboration is very important. There are so many other groups who are doing well, so many other groups who are helping also. And it's very important that um, we learn to collaborate, we learn to, to unite our efforts because resources are very scarce and uh, we may be able to duplicate uh, programs. And so collaboration with different groups, collaboration with the church, with the local government, with other humanitarian groups is very important in order to maximize all our effort. And it's very important that we, we, we can all sit together and talk about this and, and, and learn from each other. As scholastics, they will need an inner commitment that will allow them to act with integrity and respond to the confusion and brokenness of the world.